but everybody has to pay that. Is, is Ukraine payable? Employer size and capping. So you're either a small employer, a medium employer, or a large employer. So you will fall into one of those categories. Depending on what category you fall in as to whether or not you have claims impacting your premium calculation. Small employers do not have claims impacting. So you don't have an experience adjusted premium, you will only have your basic tariff premium plus your dust disease levy. Okay? Now employers can be sitting on the borderline, so you can be sitting around 27, 28,000. The new legislation only came into effect 30 June 2013 by the way, so prior to that if your premium was below, or, sorry, over 10,000, then you would have been impacted by claims. However, work for a change, change legislation last year where they pushed that up to 30,000, which is good for employers. A medium employer, 30 to 500,000, and then a large employer, anyone above 500,000. So that sort of just gives you an indication of what sort of employer you are. There are also premium capping in the formula. Now, I'm not sure how many of you know this, but a cap is, is like a safety net for employers. It basically means that your premium cannot be more than if your premium is less than 50,000, 1.5, if you're between 50 and 149, uh, 2T, and then between 150 and 300, you're between 5T. Okay, so that means as soon as you have claims, if you have, you can have 10, 15 claims, and they can all be little small ones, or you can have one claim, and it can be a big one. Okay, it's all dependent on the claims cost, the total. So the number doesn't matter, it's just the total claims cost that is being paid on the claim and estimated as well. Okay. But the capping is really important purely because it allows you, well, it gives you a safety net as an employer. Okay, so you can have one big claim, 150,000. If you fall in the less than 50,000 tariff, your premium will not be more than 1.5, so it won't be more than 75,000, for example. Once you go over the 300,000 tariff, you don't have a safety net. So once you get bigger, claims will start affecting you a lot more. So you need to be very careful about how you manage your claims when you go over a 300,000 BTP. Also when you're sitting on the border, so what I mean by that is you're sitting on the border of 49,000, you know, you can, it, it can significantly increase if you fall into another cap. Okay, so these are the sorts of things, without getting too technical, that you need to be very mindful of. 